Welcome to Speed Talking with Fora, a weekly debrief that keeps you up to date on the latest trends in travel. Here's your host, Henley Vasquez. Hi, everybody. I'm Henley. I'm one of the co-founders of Fora, a new kind of travel agency that helps empower anyone to turn their love of travel into a profit. Okay, so today is the last episode of Speed Talking. We are winding it down with the year, and we're going to go out with a bang. What we're going to do today is have a little look back at what was hot this year and a little look forward about what we think is going to be on the radar for you travelers and you travel advisors for 2024. So we do this a little bit differently. We love data here. We're really nerdy. So what we did is crunch the numbers and really look back at what happened this year, as well as what's already been booked for next year to try to spot the trends around what's opening, what has opened, new flight routes, all of that, and where it's really driving booking. So got a few notes here and here are some numbers. All right. So just to date, there were 55,000 trips booked in 2023. Over 15,000 are already booked for 2024. So there's a lot already on the books for us to look at. What did we do in 23? Well, by the numbers, we had one live forum that was 106 advisors. We organized six for a fam trips and our advisors went on many others with our amazing partners, 50 HQ employees, that's really different than it was a year ago. There's a lot more of us running around the office. Our snack counter is much busier. 300 plus hours of trainings and over 150 workshops. Now the bookings, over 50,000 trips booked to over 150 countries. Room nights, 143,000 room nights. So that's a lot of heads on beds and a lot of different hotels. Our booking platform, we just launched that this year. Already we have over 28,000 hotels on the platform and 27 new partners that we welcome to Fora Reserve. Plus, we love photos, we love videos. What are we sharing out? Well, over 41,000 videos and photos from our advisors. So this is what we've been doing here. We've been planning, we've been booking, we've been dreaming, and we've been sharing. Our top book partners this year. There was a theme. The theme was beach vacations and cruising. Let's talk a bit about the few hotels and a few of the cruise lines that really rose to the top. Now, the hotels, these are ones that we love so much that I think you'll recognize. Cheval Blanc St. Barts, one of the most chic ones out there. Four Seasons came to the top of the list, both with Costa Rica and Maui. Love to see Maui coming back after the fires. Sugar Beach and St. Lucia, starting to see a theme. People like to be doing stuff. Turtle Bay, a real Fora favorite in Oahu. Rosewood did really well as well with Rosewood Mayakoba, a perennial favorite, and Rosewood Bahamar, where Grand Hyatt Bahamar was also one of our top ones. So people were really enjoying the ease of getting to the Bahamas and having a little bit of fun there. And then, of course, Manalani, one of our favorites on the big island. I mean, the reviews are so good with amazing design, amazing beach, amazing staff. One that was one of our top of our list that wasn't a beach hotel, Amangiri. Lots of sand. You're in the desert of Utah, but not a beach hotel. Totally spectacular. Cruises totally took off this year. Our advisors, well, we have a great cruise community and they've really taught me so much about cruises. Here's the ones that they were booking the most of. Ama Waterways, Viking Cruises, of course, Virgin Voyages. We've talked lots about them before. Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Celebrity, Disney. We actually got a chance to tour one of their new ships. Uh, Kevin from our team went and took a look. Good for the kids, also good for the adults. And then uh, lots of princess cruises and the other ones that you would imagine. DMCs started to take off as well. Now, DMCs, if you're a Fora advisor, if you're a travel advisor of any kind, you know what a DMC is. If you're a traveler, you may not understand, but these are our partners that are on the ground that help us navigate the sort of more full service itineraries. They're kind of an agent for the agent. So where did we see these most in use? Costa Rica, Namu Travel, one of our favorite partners there. New Frontiers over in South Africa, planning incredible safaris. Back roads for those who wanted to keep really active, a lot of biking. Abercrombie and Kent, my go-to for East Africa. We love them so much. We saw a lot of their expansion into our advisors using them in Europe. Classifications, Mits and Muses in Greece, which we'll talk more about Greece later. And then Real Japan. Again, we'll talk more about this later. But in terms of a place that has been on the hot list and will continue to be, Japan is definitely in it. So let's talk about our 2024 predictions. Small U.S. cities. We love a big city. I'm sitting here in my home in New York. We love it. But what we're seeing for bookings is almost a return of what we saw, I think, during the pandemic, where people are enjoying those smaller cities. They can get away for a weekend or a long weekend and really explore and get to know more of the hotel, the culinary, the shopping scene. So New Orleans and Austin, top five U.S. destinations that we're already seeing trending for 2024. Hotels, well, we saw it on the more unique hotels. So Virgin Hotels in New Orleans, Arrive and Pali Society in New Orleans as well. What else? 
Well, some of the less obvious spots in Spain, San Sebastian, one of my favorite spots, but typically it gets overshadowed a bit by the Marbellas or the Mallorcas. San Sebastian has been rising in popularity and getting some more hotels. So a Nobu hotel coming into San Sebastian, it's great, another great place to stay, but really people are going there not for amazing hotels, although now we have one with Nobu, with Aquilare, and then obviously the Maria Cristina, which was renovated right before the pandemic. So it's essentially a brand new hotel. This is a place you go to eat. It is incredible food, everything from the multi-starred Michelin meals to the more casual tapas bars, and then surfing, great surfing, great outdoors activities as well. Panama. Now, we talked about Costa Rica earlier. Costa Rica has been trending for a long time and will continue to be a hot destination. But what we're seeing is Panama starting to catch up. Few things to know about it. Well, it's easy to get to, so lots of flights in and out of Panama City. Great history and culture in Panama City, and then the incredible outdoors. So our recommendations and what we saw people booking a lot, Isla Palenque. I actually went for my own spring break, so I can vouch for that one. Isla Secas. And then in the city of Panama City, in the old city, the Sofitel La Compañía. That Those are both brand new this year. So great spots to stay to spend a little bit of city time before you head out to one of the islands. St. Kitts and Nevis, another one. Now, these are not new. St. Kitts and Nevis have obviously been around for a long time, and the hotels that are there have been great forever. However, it's not traditionally been a very easy place to go. JetBlue opened up some new routes from New York into St. Kitts, which is how you get to Nevis, and suddenly we see the bookings following. So easier to get there, more people are going to be going. What should you look at? Park Hyatt St. Kitts. Uh, one of our advisors was just down there on a fam. Four Seasons Nevis. There's a lot more that's around there. Take a look, but those are really our top hotels. Bucket list Asia. I said it earlier, I will say it again. Japan is not going anywhere. It is a trending destination that is gonna stay trendy and stay busy. So plan well ahead if you're thinking about a trip or if you have clients looking at trips for say, the spring when that's very busy. So make sure that you get those booked ahead. It's got a strong US dollar. So great hotels are actually coming in and not as expensive, even though the ground services typically will be. But the one that we see coming up now is Bhutan. It is stable. It is isolated. It is unique. And it is incredible scenery. I was there this fall. I loved it. And it was really interesting to see the hotels and what they were saying about the surge that they'd had in bookings from the American market. So not easy to get to, but totally worth it. And a place that really, I think it has a real sense of calm. Listen to our episode. I talked all about it. Also the food. I'm obsessed with the food. Down Under, I want to give an Australia honorable mention because we also have three Aussies in our HQ staff. We've seen a real uptick there, especially for February 2024. So specifically, I think people are looking at that February break going, it's going to be cold here, won't be cold there, heading down to get a little summer, a little sunshine, tons of new hotels coming online as well. So take a look at Langham, take a look at Standard Melbourne, take a look at Capella opening in Sydney or actually has opened super incredible design. Lots of new hotels. Lizard Island was redone. This is a place where it's already trending and we think it'll continue to gain momentum. Maybe one of these themes is like people are willing to fly pretty far, Bhutan, Japan, Australia, to have an incredible trip. Don't be scared of the flights. Just get on it and go watch some movies. Now a little bit closer to home, but still not super close, Greece. I mean, Greece has been a hot ticket since everything reopened post-COVID. So we did a fam there in May. Since then, we've seen a doubling in bookings, a real specific focus on the island. So I think people are going in to Athens, doing a little bit of culture there, kind of like we talked about with Panama, and then moving out to the islands. Two hotels I wanted to call out, Kali Mykonos and Angsana in Corfu. These ones are getting a lot of bookings. So whether you're a traveler or you're the travel advisor, take a look. You're going to want to learn about these. Lots of people asking for them, lots of people going. Plan ahead for summer 2024. I think we're going to see a crowding like we did this summer in Italy. Okay, back to main Europe. All the places that are popular before, they're going to be popular again. So again, plan ahead. Paris, obviously, you've got the Olympics coming. There is still space. So ask your travel advisor. But the city is going to be on fire. It's going to have lots of interest. Really just a great time to be going to Paris. Not only do you have all of the classic hotels, we love, love, love those palace hotels, but you've got new hotels opening up too, like La Fantasy. I was just there out of the night. Super chic, super small, a little bit more of a local neighborhood kind of spot to check out. And then down into Florence, which again, Florence is always popular. No one is ever going to say Florence isn't popular, but we see Auberge entering into Florence with a new property as well. So 
keep an eye on those ones. You know that people are always going to want to go. It is great to plan ahead. But what's nice to see is that with new hotels coming on too, we have a little bit more space to put people into great properties. Thailand, back to the theme of a little bit farther flung, actually Thailand and Bhutan, perfect combination. White Lotus is coming to Thailand. We don't know exactly where yet. We have our theories, but you saw what it did to Maui. You saw what it did to Sicily. Thailand is next. So get ahead of this and plan your Thailand trip. Super excited to see Amman Bangkok opening in 2024. Also hotels that we see already a lot of bookings in that have been around for a while in our classics. Four Seasons Tented Camp, such an experience, and The Six Senses Yao Noi. So these are the ones that people are already booking. We've got new ones coming on board. Go and get ready to see Thailand be all over the social media, all over the news. This is where everybody's going to be going. And first time cruises. Do you think you're not a cruiser? You might be. I said the same thing. This was my 2023 realization. I had never been on a cruise ship really didn't think it was for me, then went with 40 of my best friend advisors and learned to love Virgin Voyages. And now I'm really excited to try out more. And this is one of the things that we've seen happening already. Part of it is our incredible cruise community. They're great ambassadors for this style of travel. Part of it is there's just a lot happening in this industry right now. So Crystal coming back, lots of new routes for Virgin Voyages, more expeditionary stuff. So really any kind of traveler can find the ship and the experience that's right for them. We are seeing adults only stuff. Again, Virgin Voyages. We are seeing families taking more trips where, okay, so yes, Alaska might be a little challenging to do on the ground with younger kids, do it on a cruise. So all of this stuff is happening right now. Don't look away when somebody says cruise. If you haven't done it before, it is amazing. It's a great experience. And luckily we've got a lot of people who know what they're talking about there. So wrap it all up. What are we taking away from this? Okay, so it's the small cities coming back. It's the far-flung exotic destinations coming up. It's the people who didn't think they'd go on a cruise ship that are going on the cruise ship. And it's all the people who already did Paris and Florence and Greece saying, I want to go back and do it again because there's incredible new hotels and these are just amazing destinations. So we're excited to see everything that 2024 brings. We will be releasing our hot list out on the website too in January. But for now... That's a wrap on Speed Talking. Thank you for listening in. Our episodes will still be up on Spotify, so take a look back. And if you're listening to this and you are on our wait list, I know it's long. We do have a code word. So code word hot list. When you're asked if you have a secret word to skip the wait list, put in hot list, and our team will be able to pull your application back up so they can review it a little bit more quickly. Until then, happy holidays, everybody. Happy New Year. Hope you've got lots of amazing plans for travel all through the next year, and we will see you soon.